Hey everybody, it's Jim here. I realize it looks a little strange right now. Uh, it's actually not by design. We had the house fumigated because the air quality was pretty horrible and I had to pack everything up, all the guitars and the amplifiers and I was storing them in the garage while they kind of cleaned out all of the vents and all that. And I ended up bringing everything back in except for a few of the amps and uh, the Friedman head. And I haven't really felt the need to kind of put it all back together yet because I've had a lot on my mind. But what's funny is while we were actually in the garage waiting because I didn't want to leave the house and have the possibility of, you know, just something bad happening. I've had a lot of bad luck lately. The last thing I need is a bunch of my gear stolen. So we were sitting in the garage, my wife and I, and a few records showed up in the mail, coincidentally. Uh, this showed up the day before. I just wanted to shout it out. This is by a viewer of this channel. Wiped out NYC, surf music, really aggressive, really fun. Definitely check them out. But the two records that came while we were sitting in the garage waiting for them to finish up. First, somebody I talked about a lot, Tobias Hoffman. This is his latest record, Italy. Uh, I haven't gotten to listen to it yet, and the same goes for the rest of these records. It's been really busy, and my father's been in town. But super excited. One of the best people you'll ever see grace this platform. Then this one, which is where my head really started to go crazy. It's Corey Wong. The name of this is The Lucky One. And I think it's so symbolic, and the title is so misleading of this record. It's Corey with his one blue Highway 1 Stratocaster. Corey Wong is not lucky. I think to call Corey Wong that is disingenuous, to say the very least, because... He's hard working. He's busted his ass to get where he's at right now. And he's earned it. I don't think that there's a shred of luck involved with somebody's success like that. And it got me to thinking about what I want to actually do in music, what I've always wanted to do in music, because I'm going to let you on a little secret. If you were born in the 80s, I was born in the early 80s, or 70s, definitely, maybe even the 90s, and obviously before that, there's no way that this would apply to you. Uh, when we started, when I started, my dream with playing music was not to be sitting in front of this freaking camera and talking about gear and comparing gear and showing you new gear. I realize times have changed, and I'm fortunate because it does pay for a little bit, does pay a few bills. I'm not getting rich. Not anything like that. And I do have a pretty successful thing going on here as far as the buying and the selling of guitars. But I think about people like Corey specifically because he didn't get as sucked into this. This. He just did it with his main guitar, a Highway 1 Strat. And the only other one he had for a while that he would gig with was a second Highway 1 Strat that had the same exact color finish on it. He was more focused on becoming an exceptional guitarist, composer, and writing and doing music. Now I realize that not everybody who watches this channel has the same goals. Perhaps this is like a hobby to you. Uh, I totally get that. And... We all put money into our hobbies and we don't ever want to make them into careers necessarily. For example, when I was younger, uh, I was huge into Japanese sports cars and driving very recklessly, whether it was on a uh, racetrack or elsewhere. And I put a lot of money into parts and cars and all that. But I always knew I wasn't going to be a pro racer. Uh, I wasn't going to be hitting the circuit. And I definitely wasn't going to be driving in... Um, the Tokyo Grand Prix. <laughs> but when it comes to music, I, I've wanted to be an actual, like, real musician again and make my money from that, not in this kind of context. And I'm not complaining about it. I'm, I'm frustrated with myself because it's really easy to find excuses. And sometimes, oh, believe me, there are some valid things that are going to get in your way that have gotten in our way and in my way. Um, but at the end of the day, the difference between somebody 
who makes whatever their dream come true and somebody who fails is finding a way through it and not feeling sorry for yourself and saying, you know what? Obviously, this isn't working or it's not exactly what I want. So you have to change it. And looking around, uh, yeah, I haven't really felt the need to, to put all the guitars back in their cases and the amps all back. And I've been kicking the idea of selling a bunch anyways for other reasons. But now even more so, it's just like, I don't know. I have some great stuff. I have some stuff you guys haven't even seen because I don't consider it stuff for YouTube. It's stuff that I use to actually write and play with. And I'm trying to do that more. But I have to do it a whole hell of a lot more. I'm going to keep doing this. But if you take nothing else away from this video, and if you've made it this far, bless you, first of all. But having all this crap, not that it's crap, I'm just calling it crap because it's just, it, they're things, they're tools. Having all of it, it doesn't make you happy. It's just stuff you have. You know what I mean? And like the pride of having a record. It's been a while since I've gotten to hold up one of my own. That's worth so much more than buying another guitar, no matter how freaking rare it is or how much it's worth or how much I can resell it for. Although the business aspect of it is, you know, fairly important to this operation. But I digress. I think I have to make some sort of a change. I'm not quitting YouTube. This is not an I'm quitting YouTube video. This is not a feel sorry for me video either. It's really stuff that I haven't, I haven't been able to stop thinking about because the timing of it all was just so fitting. It really was. And yeah, we'll see how things go and we'll see what happens. But I'll still make videos here and there and we'll still stream. And I hope that, you know, you enjoy it. But before I go rambling too much because my, my brain really is all over the place, I'm going to end it because I don't have a guitar in my hand. And I don't have a guitar to plug into an amplifier or an amplifier to plug that guitar into. Would have been the correct way to say that. Thank you for all the support over all these years of doing this. And if things change, hopefully, no, they will be for the better. I'll see you when I see you. Have a great rest of your day.